trying to take it home. It's all come down to this. Out of turn two, Donnie Allison in first. Where will Kale make his move? He comes to the inside. Donnie Allison throws the block. Kale hits him. They hit again. They drive into the turn. They're hitting the wall. They're head on the wall. They slide down to the inside. Let's watch those third place cars. They're out of it. And there's a fight between Kale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The tempers overflowing. They're angry. They know they have lost. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally, look out on pit road. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport except this race until today. Ah, there goes the grass. Yeah, goodbye. A smoke show. <laughs> the legacy continues. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the 46th Daytona 500. We just won the Super Bowl of this, this NASCAR race, and then us. <laughs> it's great. All right, Junior, stop right there. He college these fans. He's got something up his sleeve. Just get out and acknowledge these fans. They love you. Here he comes. Here he comes. Get out of the way from Tigers. Let me in there. Hamlin a second. Up high. Watch the inside. Watch the inside. Mark Truex. Truex. Three wide. Oh, no. No good red. Kansas saves it. Here they come to the line. Clips to the finish of the Daytona 500. Come on. Side by side. Bouncing off each other. Unbelievable. I think it was Denny Hamlin. I have it. And Hamlin. I've got chills at my spine. That was amazing. The closest 500 ever. ever. Let's have a look, folks, at this near photo finish. Look at that. Wow. Inches, about four inches, separated Denny Hamlin from Martin Truex. There's the ace taking home the checkered flag tonight. Austin Dillon with today's Sunoco fueling victory. He burned her down, boys. <laughs> We're just days away from the 61st running of the Daytona 500. Which stories are you watching closely, Jeff? Well, Mike, there are a few drivers getting behind the wheel for some new teams in 2019. Martin Truex Jr. joins Joe Gibbs Racing. Kurt Busch, the 2017 Daytona 500 champion, makes the move to Chip Ganassi Racing, looking for his second 500 title. Now, that's opened up the door on the number 41 for Daniel Suarez at Stuart Haas Racing. Lots of changes. I'm watching two former champions, Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch, who were both on the hunt for their first Daytona 500 win. It could finally be time for one of these champs to fill that hole in their trophy case. And the favorites include last year's series champion Joey Logano and the 2018 Daytona 500 champion Austin Dillon. I can't wait for the green flag Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox.